Previously, we've learned about the three elementary row operations which we can do over the matrices. So the first one is if we're given the matrix with the three rows, row one, row three, uh, row two, and row three, where R one, R two, and R three are the vectors, we can interchange the rows, any of the two rows. For example, this is going to be the first operation, and the new matrix, for example, is going to be. R1, R3, and R2. If we interchange the row 2, was it row 3? Or we can just multiply one of the rows to some constant. For example, if I multiply the second row to the 2, then this matrix is going to be the row 1, will be the same. T multiply the row 2 and the row 3. Or the third row operation is when we multiply one of the rows to some constant and add this to the second one. So basically, I can multiply the row 1 to the minus t and add this to the second one. And the new matrix is going to be row 1 minus t row 1 plus row 2. This is the new row of the matrix. And the row 3 is going to be the same as before. So what we would like to do is, our goal is, if we're given some matrix, so instead of writing down, hey, what kind of operation I'm doing, and I'm doing this manually, I would like to figure out some matrix here, so that this multiplication of this matrix might do one of these three operations. And this kind of mat matrix is called the elementary matrix. So we are going to start with the uh, with the fundamental idea of multiplication of the row vector to the matrix. So let's say we're given a matrix with the three rows and if you need to multiply this to the vector from the left, so we can write this down as the vector which is going to be the combination of these three vectors. So basically I need to multiply the row 1 to the v1 plus row 2 multiplied to the v2, plus row 3 multiplied to the v3. So if you're given three rows, and if you need to multiply this to some vector, this is going to be just a combination of the three rows. So for, for example, so let's say we're given some matrix, and this form was the three rows, so let me denote the first row as the r1, the second one is r2, and the third one is r3. If I just need to multiply this to the minus t, 1, and 0, it would mean that I need to multiply the first row to the minus t. So all the elements on the first row should be multiplied to the minus t. They are going to be minus t, 8, uh, sorry, minus 8, and minus 14. So all the elements of the second row should be multiplied to the 1, t, 5, and 6. And all the elements on the third row should be multiplied to the 0, which is going to be 0, 0, and 0. And if I add them, we will get 0, minus 3, and minus 8. So basically, if you multiply a vector to the matrix, it is going to be the combination of these three rows, and the result is going to be, again, a row. So now let's say I would like to denote the three rows of the same matrix as R1, R2, and R3. And I would like to apply the gauss jordan elimination in order to bring this matrix to the reduced row echelon form. In order to do this, I would choose this one as a pivot and I would eliminate the, all the elements below this one. So basically I would eliminate this T and this one. In order to eliminate this T, what we need to do is we need to multiply the first row to the minus T and add this to the second one so that the new resulting matrix should be in the form. So multiply the first row to the minus t and add this to the second. So please note that only the second row is going to be changed, right? The first row and the row number three are going to be the same. And instead of writing down rt, I need to write minus t r1 plus rt. Right? So if I, my matrix would be in this form, R1, R2, and 3, so to which matrix we need to multiply this in order to obtain R1 minus T, R1 plus R2, and R3. So we need to figure out this matrix. So please note that so we can multiply the rows of this matrix as a combination of the rows of the second matrix. Basically, so I need to figure out three numbers here so that by multiplying each of them to the three of the rows here, we need to obtain R1, basically. If I put R1, R2, and R3, to which three numbers are, we need to multiply them in order to obtain again the R1, they are 
1, 0, and 0. So the three numbers 1, 0, and 0 are going to go to here. So on the next step, again, we're going to combine the rows of the matrix, row 1, row 2, and row 3. Now in this case, it should be equal to minus 2 or 1 plus RT. So the numbers which we need to multiply these three vectors are going to be minus 2, 1, and 0. And we just need to put these three numbers on this second row here, minus 2, 1, and 0. And at the last, we just need to take again the three rows, row 1, row 2, row 3. So we need to multiply the three rows to some numbers in order to obtain the R3. And the three numbers are 0, 0, and 1. 0, 0, and 1. Please note that every time when we multiply the row of the first matrix to the second matrix, we just need to combine the rows of the second matrix. And the resulting row, we need to put here on the corresponding row was the same, basically with the three numbers. So, if we are given this matrix, 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 6, 1, 0, 3, and if we need to multiply this, if we need to get rid of this 2, we can just multiply this to the matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, this is going to be equal to simply the first row is going to be the same, and the last row is going to be the same since... Here, this combination means multiply the first row to the 1, second to the 0, third to the 0, and put this answer on the first row. 0, 0, 1 means multiply the first row to the 0, second row to the 0, and third one to the 1, and put this row on the third row. And the second row is going to be changed when I multiply all the elements out of, of the first row to the minus t, all the elements of the second row to the 1, and I just need to add them. So we are going to get 0 minus 3 and minus 8 as we did here. So the next step now would be, so I just need to copy this matrix, say 1, 4, 7, 0, minus 3, minus 8, 1, 0, 3. We need to get rid of this one. So in this case, the first two rows are going to be unchanged, right? So I need to write 4, 1, 4, 7. So which three numbers I need to put on the first row so that the linear combination of the three vectors is going to give me the first one. So the three numbers are 1, 0, 0, right? It means that I'm going to multiply the first row to the 1, second to the 0, and the second, third to the 0. And I just need to add them. So the second row should be unchanged as well. So in this case, I need to put here again 0, 1, 0. It means multiply the first row to the 0, second one to the 1, and the third one to the 0. And now in order to get rid of this one, we need to multiply the first row to the minus 1 and add this to the last one, right? So it means that I need to multiply the first row to the minus 1, second row to the 0, and the third row to the 1. And if I add them, this 1 will disappear. So I can write this down now here as 0, minus 4, and minus 4. So the T matrix is actually, so this matrix and this matrix are, are called the elimination matrices because we use them in order to eliminate the elements on the matrix. So this matrix is going to be called as elimination matrix T1 because it is going to eliminate the uh, uh, entry on the position T1. And this matrix is going to be the elimination matrix E31. So basically, if, we, if you get the original matrix... 1, 4, 7, 1, 0, 3, 2, 5, 6. If you multiply this to the E, T, 1 first, then E, 3, 1, we are going to obtain this matrix 1, 4, 7, 0, minus 3, minus 8. 0, minus 4, minus 4. So now let's discuss the two more operations which we need to do. So basically what I would like to do is I would like to interchange the rows of the matrix. So let's say we are given the matrix was the row 1, row 2, and row 3. I need to figure out to multiply this as a matrix so that it is going to interchange the row 1 
with the row or row two with the row three, for example. So these two rows are going to be interchanged so that the resulting matrix is going to be equal to the row one, row three, row two. So I'm going to find this matrix row by row. So in the in the first row, we need to figure out the three numbers so that the linear combination of the three vectors is going to give me row one. So the three numbers are one, zero, zero. So on the second row here, I need to write down the three numbers so that the linear combination of the three vectors is going to be R3. So this is going to be 0, 0, 1. It means that multiply the first row to the 0, second to the 0, and the third one to the 1, right? It is going to be R3. And on the third row here, I need to put these three numbers here so that the linear combination of the three rows should give me R2. So this is going to be 0, 1, 0. It means that multiply the first row is a 0, second row is a 1, third row is a 0, which is R2. And put this here, right? So this matrix is called the permutation matrix. Right? So for example, if you are given a matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, if you just multiply this as a 0, 1, 1, 0, it will just interchange the first row with the second. So the answer is going to be 3, 4, and 1, and 2. So now the last operation is when we need to multiply one of the rows to some constant. For example, we are given a matrix with the components 1, 4, 7, 0, minus 3, minus 8, 0, minus 4, minus 4. So let's assume that I would like to multiply the, all the elements on the second row to the minus 1 over 3 and keep the first row, for example, unchanged. So if I would like to write down this as 1, 4, 7, I need to put here the 1, 0, 0. It means multiply the first row to the 1, second and the third one to the zeros. Now, if I would like to multiply the second row to minus 1 over 3 and do not add the first row or the second row to this, I just need to multiply the first row and the third row are going to be just multiplied as a 0. And the second row should be multiplied as a minus 1 over 3. And if I put 0, 0, 1, this matrix is going to be 0, 1, 8 over 3, 0, minus 4, minus 4. So let's do one more practice. For example, I would like to multiply this matrix to some matrix so that the only third row is going to be multiplied to the minus 1 over 4. So the first row is going to be the same. Second row is going to be the same, and the third row is going to be multiplied to minus 1 over 4. So the first row is the same, it means that I need to put 1, 0, 0. Second row is the same, I need to put 0, 1, 0. And the third row should be multiplied to the minus 1 over 4. I need to put here 0, 0, minus 1 over 4. So this will just multiply the third row to the minus 1 over 4, and we will obtain 0, 1, and one. So the three row operations, and we've got the three corresponding matrices, which makes those three row operations.